Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is your daily message for Thursday, October 31st, 2019. Happy Halloween, happy uh, All Hallows Eve to all my viewers out there who may be watching. I hope you have a wonderful uh, Halloween tomorrow. And we are using the 1889 Lenormand Oracle today, as well as the Royo Dark Tarot. This is the mini deck. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to start the reading by pulling a Lenormand card just to see what the overall energy is for tomorrow. The overall uh, message, energy, this could be tied into the actual reading or separate. Four, Thursday, October 31st. What is your message for the collective tomorrow? For all signs, all signs that may be watching, I'll call out the signs as I see them. For Halloween, Thursday, October 31st. Let's see, we have the stars. Beautiful. And let me see, we have uh, the Six of Hearts as well coming up, the Six of Cups. Um, so the, the star definitely talks about, um, wishful thinking, um, hope. I'm definitely hearing signs as well. Something having to do with the astrology in the sky. Um, this can also have to do with, uh, love, past life relationships, past life karma, um, I'm interested to see what uh, Jen's actually definition is here. If I just open the, um, let's see what it, what her deck, what it says in her deck here. Uh, it's number sixteen. So it just confirms good luck in all enterprises. But if it's near the clouds, it means a long series of unhappy accidents. Well. Uh, I'm getting the message, good luck. All right, so luck is in the air. Maybe it's a good day to also just uh, take a leap of faith. Trust that all is, is happening for the highest good. Just move that down. I don't know why everything seems so dark here. All right. And now we'll begin with the actual reading. What is your message for my viewers? All signs, all signs that may be watching for tomorrow, Thursday, October 31st, 2019. The last day of October. Mercury going retrograde in Scorpio. Scorpio season is upon us. Let's see what we have here. Ah, we have the Empress. Card number three in the Major Arcana. Uh, Venus. We have Venus coming up. Let's see what else. Seven of Wands, Leo Energy. What else? What else do we need to know about tomorrow? Thursday, October the 31st, please. Okay, and we have the moon, card number 18, the moon. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. We have the six of swords, air sign energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. <clears throat> yeah. I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, camera down so you can actually see some of these images up close. It's a beautiful deck. <clears throat> so I hope you can see the images there. We have like a vampy looking girl here with the six of swords. She looks like a little vampire to me. Um, <clears throat> traditionally in the Rider Waite Smith deck, the Six of Swords does talk about uh, transition, 
uh, mental healing. It can be a card of movement. Okay, this is also about leaving the past behind, healing past trauma. Interesting because we also have six of hearts here. So sixes are coming up. Uh, let's see if I can get any more information here. We have uh, a journey through the night as well. So that makes me think of uh, the nighttime, obviously Halloween, lots of people going out. Um, but it's that passage through the night. So this is, can also be, I'm hearing an opening, uh, portals, etc. Portals opening up. Okay. I'm seeing bats here. So <clears throat> I'm, I'm also hearing vampires. Okay. So, uh, transformation, right? Those are just some, some some things coming through here. Journey through the night. The theme or challenge of this reading is a journey through the night. Now this can be the dark night of the soul. We have number three, the Empress, so the mother. And she's looking very uh, sexy. She's also looking very comfortable, relaxed. Um, I am seeing some little uh, I'm not sure what these, I'm, it's, I'm sorry, I'm seeing like some kind of insect here. So I am getting Scorpio and I was getting Venus and Scorpio. Scorpio. Okay, so are you a Scorpio watching? I am seeing, um, <clears throat> can be like a, some kind of insect with like little, yeah, that's definitely a Scorpio energy. But Venus, traditionally ruled by Libra and Taurus, Venusian energy, love, being open to love. Let's see what they say here. She is the representation of intelligence. Okay, well, what kind of intelligence here? I am seeing an intelligent woman coming through. Very commanding, very in charge. This can indeed be someone who is a mother or a mother figure. We also have the seven of wands. So this is about standing up for your beliefs, not backing down, having a strong voice, not backing away from challenges. It can, it can also indicate adversity. Okay, so in this deck, the seven of wands indicates the inner demons have been left at the bottom of the well. Okay, so uh, these two cards here, I'm getting strong feminine energy as well. So I'm, I'm, I'm hearing women taking back their power or someone taking back their power or rising to power. Okay. Um, and lastly, we have the moon. And this deck is card 18, as in most uh, tarot decks. And here we have the silver planet. So <clears throat> the moon often does indicate uh, deep emotion, doubts and fears, but the lunar energy coming through here. I believe we have, um, let's see, I, I believe something's moving into Sagittarius tomorrow or it has already moved into Sag. Well, let's see, where is the moon going to be? Because we have the moon in Sag. Okay, so Venus is definitely in Scorpio. So I'm definitely getting Scorpio, Leo, and Sagittarius coming through here. And I believe that, I'm looking at the chart of the moment here, the moon, <clears throat> I believe, will still be in Sagittarius, although... It could also be moving into Scorpio. Well, well, I don't want to uh, go too far into that, but let's just tie everything up here. We have the stars, so good luck. I'm seeing a passage through the night. We have an intelligent 
person here or a woman or a being who is very intelligent. We have some, we have an energy here of leaving, letting go of our inner demons, uh, fighting, uh, fighting off, warding off evil. And we have the moon, the silver planet, that lunar energy, again, tied to the mother, tied to the emotions. There is something here that we cannot put our finger on with the moon here. And again, I'm seeing a feminine energy here. <clears throat> I'm seeing um, a female here who is rising in prominence. I'm seeing someone here that has blonde hair, blondish hair. I'm also seeing something about electricity or electri electric cord, an electric quality. Because, uh, <clears throat> yeah, this also reminds me of Sag energy with the bow and arrow. Interesting, very interesting reading. I'm not sure what to make of it. Um, I think I'm going to pull one more card here, guys, for you from the Oracle of the Mermaids, because we are in this water, this fixed water energy. There could be something going on with the moon though, or lunar energy. Uh, I'm also seeing something about a full moon here. What is your guidance for tomorrow, October 31st, please? We have guide. A guide, mentor, mentor, or trustworthy ally. Okay, so this can be um, a new guide coming in, or it can also just indicate uh, there's someone coming in today that can be seen as a mentor, a guide, or a trustworthy ally. I'm also seeing people whispering here. So someone that you, it's a good day to have, you know, people that you trust or only um, calling on those that you trust. Right. We've gotten this card a couple times in the past uh, in these general readings. So um, it's, I'm not unfamiliar with it, but let me just read a little bit to you. So the divination. This card appearance in a reading for you heralds the arrival of one who you can trust. A spirit guide wishes to make healing contact with you. They are extremely loving, helpful, and they have personality. They are like cool, clear water unconditionally loving, warm, and very helpful in matters of adaptation and improvement of your human experience. They relate to you. Be ready for your psychic abilities to be similarly challenged. You may find yourself discarding baggage in the form of belief systems that are overcomplicated and power oriented. You will find all the stimulation you need in simplicity, and yet you will be more awake than ever intellectually. You are more grounded, enriched, and truly yourself than ever before. As you develop your relationship with your guide, be aware that others may find it strange. Always check in. Your guide may be with you for a long time, forever, or a short time. Never become so absorbed in your guide's reality that you neglect your home. True guides bring us into deeper relationship with the planet, with the oceans, and their beings and make us wish to live more deeply here. They fully assist and support our connection. They never ask us to leave or encourage us to have those thoughts of departure 
before our time has been fulfilled. They will bring us to the now strongly and assist us in knowing the past with less and less attachment. They are profoundly healing and awaken our energy to an extremely vital level till we feel we are overflowing with love. So again, I'm not getting anything negative here. I'm getting very positive messages. Um, very positive messages. And I'm also getting um, that tonight is going to be a beautiful evening. I'm getting beautiful moonlight. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful Halloween. Thanks for watching.